Along my journey, three simple questions have always guided me. What can I do to help the person next to me become a better person, a better leader, a better decision maker? These questions have helped me become the person I am today. Being Indigenous and recognising my culture is a big part of my life. So NAIDOC Week always holds a special place in my heart. This week gives Australia the chance to celebrate, educate and reflect on our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture. I'm Jared Harbrow, father, footballer and Indigenous leader. Growing up with my family in Cairns, I was a shy but observant kid. I've always been super close with my brother Mark. When he was 16, he was diagnosed with leukaemia and it completely changed our lives. He was given a 40% chance of survival. Thankfully he survived, but his experience drove us to want to help others in life. Fast forward a few years, Dad decided it was best we moved to Melbourne to give myself a chance at one day playing AFL. We took a big risk and there were no guarantees. I put my head down and worked as hard as I could. Thankfully, it paid off. There weren't many Indigenous players on the list in my time at the Western Bulldogs. I thought the best way to teach culture was to practice it and bring others along with me. I loved the club, but eventually I needed to find my way back to Queensland. I saw the Gold Coast as a new challenge, not only on the field, but off it too. We're a community club and we have a massive Indigenous population in Queensland. Being able to reach out to them through the club and play a role in that was pretty important to me. Today, Mark and I run Harbour Mentoring. Our goal is to give the next generation of Indigenous youth pathways and opportunities. For them to feel like there's hope. To feel like there's a chance to make something of themselves. To make their family proud. To make the community proud. To close the gap of life expectancy. We believe young leaders will create more leaders and better decision makers. This is the future we're trying to create. If we can do this, the sky's the limit. For decades and decades, Indigenous people have been crying out for help and support in so many different areas of life. This week, I encourage all Australians to celebrate and educate themselves on our Indigenous history and culture. But importantly, reflect on how much more we can do. And say to yourself, what can I do to help others? <laughs>